What oddly specific rules have you seen that are probably only there because someone actually did it in the past? Remove baby before collapsing stroller. Edit. For those asking what happens if you do this. I contacted some manufacturers who assured me that they tested it and that the strollers will be perfectly fine. When my daughter was born. A sign on the countertop in the hospital room that said do not place baby on counter. Falling risk if left unattended. I was flabbergasted. Edit for clarity this was the birthing room. At this hospital as soon as everyone's stable you are moved to your actual hospital room. The counter was next to where the fathers would stand by the bed. Absolutely no roller skates in the lab. My husband worked for a private lab startup and half the women there did roller derby. The lab was, as many are, a rep opposed warehouse with nice smooth concrete floors. One of the women thought it would be fun to skate between machines. She got a lot done but the boss figured Osha wouldn't be too thrilled so the sign went up a few days later. You could still wear your skates in the break room. I used to run a blade all over my college campus as it was faster for getting around than walking. I was also too lazy to change into street shoes at the dining halls. Etc. And would just coast all over the place. Come sophomore year. Signs were put up in various campus buildings prohibiting rollerblades inside. I blame Johnny Knoxville for this. But toilets are for display purposes only. No. Talk to an employee at a kitchen bathroom design store. Potty training kids are notorious for using any toilet. Plumbing or not. They are usually very proud of it too. To the embarrassment of their parents. On an Air France flight from Morocco to Mauritania. The flight attendant gave the safety brief in French at first. My French is not good but my ears pricked up when I heard the words few de camp. I obviously discounted my translation as misunderstanding the brief until she went into the brief in English. We were given the standard safety brief on all aircraft. But at the end we were specifically reminded that there are to be no cooking or campfires lit on the plane at any time. Can you imagine your seatmate getting hungry and deciding to start a fire on an airplane to cook up some snacks? Pharmacy worker here. We have to specify to unwrap suppositories before insertion. Apparently someone thought the foil was part of it. Fellow pharmacy worker. To add on to yours, having to specify that suppository is erectile only, or vaginal. Sometimes people think all drugs go in your mouth. And that the capsules that come with Spiriva inhalers are not meant to be swallowed. Last year's company Christmas party email specifically stated to bring an extra pair of pants if you will be urinating in the first pair. I hope somebody really obviously brought an extra pair and just had them in a bag and refused to acknowledge it the entire night and then maybe like. Changed part way through to the other pants and just kept carrying on like nothing. Please do not add dish detergents to the water fountains. Once witness someone dumping a whole box of soap, not sure if it was laundry, dish or other, into a mall fountain. The bubbles were 6 feet high before they shut it off. Never iron clothes while they are being worn. Or the more f ked up. Do not use for drying pets on the microwave. Yeah I've heard stories that when microwaves were fairly new people thought of them like a toaster and would put small pets inside to dry them off. With explosive results. The real story behind the microwave thing comes from an old lady that was still using all old appliances in her house and her son wanted her to upgrade a little since she was getting older and she was still doing all the chores and cooking manually. This was taking a lot of time and she would spend hours cooking stuff on her old stove. One thing I liked about her stove was that she could open the door. Put heat to the minimum and dry her little dog on the door and that would leave nice curls and shine to the dog hair. Now I'm pretty sure you're seeing where this is going. Her son decided to buy her a microwave. He told his mother that this would help her cook and reheat a lot faster and it does pretty much everything her stove does but within minutes instead of hours. So she ended up washing her little dog and then put it in the microwave and yeah the dog died horribly. And this is basically why that sticker is there. In my lease. I had a clause to properly dispose of my used tampons. I asked why and apparently my landlord had a tenant that caused $50. 000 of damage because she threw her used tampons into the cabinet under the sink. 
She rented the apartment for years and there were 3 plus years worth of used. Bloody tampons in there. The. A. Uh, blood caused a bunch of damage akin to water damage to the bathroom. The floor under the cabinet was rotted through. From bloody tampon storage. The thought of a steamy. Gelatinous glob of blood gooping through the shitty linoleum and blooming a bloody clicker from the last of us makes me want to actively die. Don't take prescription drug if you are allergic to same drug. Double quote. That one always cracks me up. In the same vein. I love when possible side effects are the exact thing the meds are supposed to help. Like anti-nausea medicine making you nauseous. Since covered and things going digital, we now have a you must wear clothes rule. And we already had a pretty casual dress code. The zoom virtual background is nice. But it really needs a virtual shirt option. No rings on ship decks. They can get caught and deglove your finger. Which is exactly as horrid as it sounds. In rehab our cotton swabs were taken away because a guy decided to jam one into his eardrum to get sent to the hospital and get painkillers. Every seemingly dumb rule we had in there had a backstory to it. Oofed. Used to work in a prison. And they had to ban Marmite spread. Because the inmates used the yeast to ferment alcohol. And Kit Kats. Because they used the foil wrappers for heroin. When I worked at a warehouse. I was told that we can't ride pallet jacks like scooters. PSHHH stupid safety. I worked at a warehouse that had those and found out one of them had a turbo button on it. I got to work the late shift a few times where there was literally two people, including me, working and you're goddamn right I drove that thing around like a go-kart. I had the same biology professor for BioI and II. Because of me. The BioII powerpoint included a new excuse that wouldn't be accepted for missing late work. My drunk roommates threw it out while cleaning. Double quote. Similar thing happened to my dad when he used to work at a shipyard. Their rules were you hard steel toe shoes or shoes with a wide enough gap between the tip of your foot and the tip of the shoe. He wore clown shoes. Every time the yard hired a new person. They were strictly enforced to never wear clown shoes. In Florida you may not have sexual relations with a porcupine. In Illinois it is illegal to go fishing on a giraffe's head. Do not put 14 rolls of toilet paper in the toilet Walmart 2019. For my fellow scientists. Transferring chemicals by mouth, mouth pipetting, is forbidden. Edit. While this unexpectedly blew up. It's nice to see our science community active in a sub that isn't science related. Stay safe my fellow lab mates and make sure to always label your glassware. They just updated a policy at my work recently that had that rule in it. It said there is an appropriate pipette available for every task I.O. You're not allowed to bring Vuvuzelis into a Metallica concert. I really just want to know the story. You are not allowed to bring Vuvuzela into any large gatherings. The thing is annoying. Do not dress game. E. G. Deer. Pheasant. In dormitory kitchens. I wonder who dragged a deer into the dorm and cut it up for venison. My junior year. A group of my classmates went hunting and came back with three deer. Being broke college students, and a bunch of hicks to boot, they decided to dress all three deer in the dorm kitchen. It was like a large residential kitchen. When they were done. It looked like the Manson family came through and they weren't happy. Used to work in a big name bookstore. In the office we had a huge sign saying no boiled eggs allowed in staff office. I've posted this before but my old workplace had a big communal tea room. There is one bodybuilder guy who always had boiled eggs as a snack during morning tea. One day I watched him sit down and go to attack the eggs with his fork. The next moment he was covered in egg looking dumbfounded. He had overheated the egg and it had exploded. This might be more about the danger of over microwaved eggs exploding and burning someone rather than the smell. There was this one residence hall on campus where we had to inform students on move in day not to twist their room key a certain way into their bathroom door otherwise they could possibly get locked and if closed. They were encouraged just to use the inner lock bolt body system. Students got charged $5. After one free pass. 
if a staff member got a call and had to rescue them from trapping themselves in their own bathroom. Working in that hall for two years. I rescued students seven times and four of those times it was the same girl. The 10 bin bowling alley in Geelong implemented a patrons must not play blindfolded rule. The manager claims it was for safety reasons. But I will always know in my heart it was solely because I beat him three games in a row wearing a blindfold. Geelong is an awesome city on the bottom of the Australian mainland. Lived there 18 years. Sadly. The bowling alley was demolished around 2001. No bouncing balls on city sidewalks. It scares horses. My father's hometown. Marion. Ohio. Had a rule that you couldn't eat a donut while walking backwards. If I remember correctly. It had something to do with attracting police horses to lure them away from the police. I just saw another comment in this thread that the law in Arkansas about not being allowed to keep an ice cream cone in your pocket is for the same reason. I think those silly laws websites should come with explanations. It often makes them much more interesting. No eating at your desk. I still do. FCK the office manager. Once one of the higher level managers came over to talk to me about something whilst I was eating some soup he said something like I'm sure I'm imagining you eating over there. So I replied that I was drinking with a spoon. After my team manager started organizing buffets in the office to show appreciation for getting through a particularly difficult phase. And encouraging people to bring in a selection of foods on their birthday the rule is completely ignored. I mean... Can you complain if someone is working through their lunch break so is having a sandwich at their desk? The rule is still in the employee handbook but no one sticks to it. I worked at a video rental store and we had a big sign at the front of the store that said control your children because kids are an organizational nightmare. I worked at a video store in high school. Bathroom was almost always broken because people would attempt to flush paper towels. Toward the end of its life the company just stopped paying for plumbers to fix it so it was just permanently broken. Stores were shutting down one by one and it was only a matter of time before it was our store's time to go. Lady came in with her grandson and he needed to pee. But there was nothing I could do. Us employees were using the pizza buffet next door because we had a good relationship with them and bought pizza at least once a week and gave them free rentals. Pizza place didn't let non-paying customers use the bathroom. So I told the lady they could try the gas station across the parking lot or buy a drink from pizza place. Nope she just walked outside and told the kid to pee on the sidewalk in a busy shopping center. I worked for a company that would send us out of town and put us up in hotels for weeks. We had per diem for food but they told us we could absolutely not use it on alcohol. Found out the company used to have an open bar at the hotel for employees until some former employees got so drunk they hired prostitutes and ended up doing cocaine and were killed out of the hotel and arrested. On a package of precision screwdrivers do not insert into penis. Double quote. Joke one on various laser related things. Do not look into laser with remaining eye. Double quote. I'm not saying let's kill all the stupid people. I'm just saying let's remove the warning labels and let the problem sort itself out. Double quote. Worked at an auto body shop. The break room microwave sign said no fish or birds. There were a few Vietnamese guys working there. The guy who worked in the wash bay detailing the cars before they were given back to the customers was about 60 years old. And he always had weird stuff for lunch. I've seen him with bags full of fish heads. Entire birds. Feathers and all. Mystery bags of unknown meat. Etc. Apparently he had used the break room microwave to cook these sorts of random things and made the entire office reek for days at a time. They ended up putting the old break room microwave in the wash bay, which was in an unattached building, so he could cook all the nasty shit he wanted to eat without disturbing anyone else. At my company's picnic outing. Anyone who jumps in the lake will be fired. Double quote. Company. So we make you come to a fun social event on your day off. It's good for team building. Also company. However. You can actually have fun. In California it is illegal to hunt deer with explosive arrowheads. Signs that say no shitting on the floor in a public place. I've never done it. 
But I do put those signs up in public restrooms when I get the chance. Wish I had a picture but in every restroom stall at my work there is a sign that says. Three courtesy flush flush ones to prepare for elimination flush between the go and the paper flush upon completion. Wonder who put that together in their head and said I have a solution. Hear me out guys. I live in student accommodation. On the back of the bathroom door there are diagrams of the right and wrong ways to sit on the toilet. International students from countries that only have squats is the reason. They would stand on the toilet seat them squat over the bowl. Some universities put a few squat toilets in for this reason. If you've had diarrhea in the last 48 hours. Please do not enter the pool water. Comma real sign I saw at the pool of my Abn LA a few years back. Edit. It may be common. I've never seen it here in the east coast. But still oddly specific. It gets worse. That's a state mandated posting for public pools in California. It was so bad they said okay. All pools need to include this sign. A fairly small apartment complex pool, indoors, that had a sign reading. No running, no diving, no smoking, no kayaks. In church. There was a sign above the votive candles that read. Light only one candle $7 each. Double quote. Apparently. For $7. Someone had lighted all 50 votive candles in the stand. At my last job. We had a sign on the back door that said you must walk trash all the way to the dumpster. Do not train the raccoons. Double quote. The story behind that is the facility I worked at does dog daycare and training. And Darcy the human, not to be confused with Darcy the poodle, didn't like having to walk all the way across the parking lot at the end of the night to take out the trash. And trained about 3 raccoons to drag the bags to the dumpster because he couldn't be bothered to walk 50 feet to it. He got away with it for about a year. And even named them. The manager only found out when she opened the back door to throw out some boxes and saw a bunch of raccoons immediately run up and cart them off. If the water between Denmark and Sweden freezes. And the Swedes walk over we, the Danes, are allowed to hit them with sticks. I had an English teacher that had an ironclad rule about no one touching her classroom door except for her. Rumor is that some kids super glued her classroom door shut a few years ago. This led to some of my classmates rubbing themselves all over the door when she was absent for a day and when she went on maternity leave. I work in healthcare. Having a personal relationship with your client is a big one. We had a caregiver marry a client's spouse. I go over professional boundaries during orientations at least 10 times. I trained home hospice carers and had to put in a do not smoke marijuana or give edibles to clients section. Living in a state where it's legal does not mean you, as a care provider, are allowed to share. Worked at a call center. As it was moving towards shutting down they weirdly got super stringent about rules. Couldn't have pen and paper so I brought putties and non-sticky slime to give myself something to do during downtime. Email goes out. No putty or slime. Okay. I'll finally learn to crochet. Bring in yarn and needles. Email goes out. No crochet or knitting. Fine. L write as a hobby so I'll type up some blurbs on Word. Maybe make an annoying customer bingo sheet on Excel. Email goes out. No longer allowed to use Word or Excel. Every email was sent like a week or less after I started doing the thing. With the exception of the putty. Timeline made sense to me and my friends. Kinda. But I'm sure for everyone else in the call center they were bewildered as fuck. Culling iron instructions. Do not use while sleeping. We have a no fireworks policy at my work. My older brother lit a bottle rocket and a few firecrackers and threw them under the bathroom door while someone was in there pinching a loaf. That. Is just cruel. Imagine just doing your thing when some jackass flings a lit firecracker over the door of your stall as you attempt to take a dump. I would have a heart attack and beat whoever I caught to a bloody pulp. There's a town in Alabama where it's illegal to carry an ice cream cone in your pocket. In Little Rock, Arkansas. I believe it's illegal to walk cattle down Main Street on Sundays. In Arkansas. It's also illegal to keep an alligator in your bathtub. 
I work as a counselor at a boy scout camp that happens to have coconut trees. One of the rules I have to read to the scouts is do not take a coconut and stick it between your legs and try to stab it with your pocket knife this is because at least one kid some time ago did this resulting in an emergency hospital trip. In a supermarket. By the cherry display. For the safety of employees and customers. Please do not discard cherry pits on the floor. Double quote. Couldn't figure out why it didn't just say please don't eat the cherries but I'm sure there's an injury lawsuit involved. This is not food label. On plastic fruit. This product is not to be eaten. On the little silicon filled PKGS. You get. In products that need to be dry. Sometimes in pill bottles too. Check the rear seats of your car for children before going in store. Double quote. This is a serious issue and can happen to anyone especially sleep deprived parents. Employees are not allowed to store beer or other personal effects in the milk fridge. Dut. That was me. Sorry guys. I got so many for PA. No singing in the bathtub. You aren't allowed to have a child's bedroom within 200 feet of a bathtub. Illegal to sleep on a refrigerator outside. Illegal to catch a fish with your hands. And this which I really don't get. It is illegal for housewives to hide dirt or dust underneath a rug. I don't know why these are law or if they are still enforced because I slept outside on my fridge last week so I dk. Liquid whiteout says do not smoke on the packaging. Honestly I'm not surprised. One of my friends once mixed it with battery acid. Rolled it in paper and then smoked it in 8th grade. I rode Greyhound bus once and the list of prohibited items specifically included corpses. Go to transport grandma somehow. BTW. When you fly. There's frequently a corpse on board for transport. Without that rule. You could do it more cheaply by bus. But it is what it is. Some rules at university were quite funny. Rubbing your sample on a person who is allergic to nickel is not a valid nickel detection method and will result in failing the course. An organic chemistry eye. You are supposed to take a tiny sample of your excrement and spread it on the plate. Not and I repeat not the whole thing itself. Microbiology class. Don't throw pickles on the glass. Burger King. I was the cause of a no low cut shirts policy at my local Goodwill years ago. I was wearing a rather becoming velvet black long sleeve shirt with a v neck. I was working on the floor when our district supervisor was visiting the store. I bent over doing something when he saw my nipple pop out. The next week the policy was announced and nobody told me about it for over 2 months. I I. My first day at a bagel joint I got very specific directions on using the deli slicer from someone who had seen a girl open up the underside of her upper arm, the turkey waddle. Notice in butcher's shop. Please do not let your children sit on the bacon slicer because we are getting a little behind in our orders. My all time favorite. In the Taco Bell I frequented as a teenager. Please do not spit on the managers. Double quote. It wasn't even a ref king paper. It was a plaque. Someone got spit on enough times to go out and pay for a plaque. Lincoln logs are not welcomed at this Lego convention. After in 2009. The convention creator said Bionicle is about as Lego as Lincoln Logs. Several Lincoln Log creations appeared in the Bionicle section overnight. And Lincoln Logs have been banned ever since. There's a train ride at our local amusement park that warns passengers not to hang their babies out of the window. Back in the 90s. I used to work in a convenience store in New Jersey. Once a year I'd have to go to the health department and get certified as a food handler. It is in this capacity that I learned that there is a law on the books in the state of New Jersey that you cannot store food under a leaking sewage pipe. You just know health inspector went into a store and said what the hell. You can't store food under leaking sewer pipe. And the store owner said cite the statute. Double quote. Well not a rule. But the label saying caution very hot water. Burns may occur was made because of lawsuits. To be honest many safety labels do this to avoid lawsuits. The best example to the lawsuits related to this issue was the Liebeck v. McDonald's. 
Stella Liebe tried to put sugar in her coffee when it spilled on her lap. This could sound funny to some to sue over. But her legs legit suffered severe burns from the 190, 87C, coffee. Just look up her burns and you'll see. You are not allowed to bring furniture to camp. Double quote. This was even more impressive because you had to hand carry all your things onto a ferry to get to the camp. While I would like to take credit for the rule. I only knew the person responsible when they showed up with a recliner. Had to make a rule this past week no D&D and D. That is. Driving in Dungeons and Dragons no one got hurt. But for fuck's sakes. Just because we play online doesn't mean get up and leave to buy something unnecessary during game because you can't stay connected on your phone and use a dice roller app. Apostrophe. Sir. Playing Dungeons and Dragons while driving is distracted driving and could kill you. Someone else. An animal. Total your car. Destroy a shop. Run red lights. Etc. It is just as bad as texting and driving. Don't. Do. It. You are not immortal. You cannot multitask while driving a several ton vehicle at speeds faster than walking. To me. Employees must wash hands before returning to work. Who the hell doesn't wash their hands after using the bathroom? Especially working in food service. One time. Someone didn't want to walk through the open gate at my high school for a football game. So there was a sign that the area was under video surveillance and that no one should climb the, approximately 20 foot tall, fence. My primary school had a rule against climbing the poles holding up the shade cover over the playground. Yeah. That was my fault. Bathing a donkey this is a law because in a hurricane as a donkey was taking a bath it went missing and people had to look for him. The lease on my old apartment specifically stated that I was forbidden from skiing off the roof. When I was a security guard. Do not eat marshmallows that are fired at you. Do not eat marshmallows off the ground. We were having issues with residents having marshmallow gun fights. One of our employees walked into the sliding glass door to the kitchen so hard that it left an imprint impression of his face on the glass. HR declared the glass sliding door to be dangerous and requested a sign to be put on the door. CEO puts a sign on the glass door saying no face planting. For a long time, not sure if this is still the case. The school in my small town disallowed high schoolers from providing the lights for the Christmas trees. This rule was made because my uncle, when he was in high school, used outdoor lights and set the tree on fire. Worked as a substitute teacher. During training there was a good 30 minutes reviewing strange rules. One he heavily specified was how we are not allowed to take home class pets. Turns out a sub the year before had taken home a class goldfish because the tank was too small and then ransomed the goldfish to the class until proof of a larger tank. I saw a please don't feed hallucinogens to the alligators sign once. It looked legit and I wondered if it was real and what had to happen for it to be there. Really made me want to feed shrooms to the gatters though. If only I had that kind of money. You know those hinge baby changing stations that fold flat against the wall? Do not fold tray while child is strapped in. Double quote. I have a very strange one at my work. Apparently. If an employee is sick and hospitalized their manager may buy them a gift from the company for up to $40. However if the person is hospitalized for the same again within a calendar year they may not receive another gift. However if they are hospitalized for a different thing. They can receive another $40 gift. Like what the heck. It's Uru detailed. It's like someone got cancer and kept requesting gifts during chemo. Also. That being said. Who cares about giving a person with cancer an extra $40 a week? It's illegal in North Carolina to plow a field with an elephant. None other than P.T. Barnum is responsible for this one. Do not place any person inside this washing machine. On an industrial washing machine at the hotel I worked at. My father always puts on rental agreements no ducks. This is due to an ex-renter who had a pet duck who lived in the house and pooped like a duck poops and the tenant never cleaned it up. That house will always be known as the day of the ducocalypse when they finally vacated. 
I'm a college student and there was a sign posted by campus living in the elevator that said no masturbating or pushing buttons with genitals will be tolerated. There are cameras watching. The Shikamorga battlefield has a sign in the women's restroom that says you're not allowed to bathe in the sink. I'm sure there's a story there. We went on a family camping trip a couple of years ago at a Koa style campground, cabins, RVS, and tent sites. Also pool and general store. ETC. There was a rule sign at the pool and rule number 6 was no diarrhea in the pool. No shit. I was at an aquarium where there was a fish tank that you could stick your hands in and the fish would nibble on your fingers. There was a big sign that said do not stick your feet in. Double quote. In the military it's common policy to have a safety brief before every weekend or extended holiday. It's a sire thing for when you troops break the law. Get injured. Etuk. Often these become sources of exactly this sort of thing. When I got out of basic one of the first guys I met was bandaged on his arms and legs from third degree burns. That Friday. I was briefed on barbecue safety. Don't use excessive lighter fluid. And don't barbecue when drunk. When O changed duty station zone 3 years later we were still doing it even though virtually everyone associated with the original event had long since gone. If that unit was still around. I wonder if they'd still be briefing it.